Here's a quick video to show you how you can embed a scientific calculator or a regular calculator on your Moodle page to make it easy for students who have forgotten their calculators at class time. I found a good web-based calculator at web2.0calc.com. So you go to that website and once you're there you have an online scientific calculator that's available. But it would be nice to embed this thing into your web page so that the students don't actually have to go to that website to operate the calculator. So go to the top bar here and click on widgets. When you do, you'll find three options here. There are three embeddable calculators that you can put on your web page. One is a horizontal scientific calculator in a horizontal format, a vertical scientific calculator, and then there's just a basic or minimal calculator, just a four function calculator. I'm going to embed the vertical one uh, just for practice here. Once you click on the widget of your choice, down below in the little box you find some HTML code that will embed that calculator into your web page. So highlight that code and copy it. Then go to your Moodle page. Once at your Moodle page, go to the bottom of a unit and click Add Activity or Resource. What you want to add here is a web page. So go down to the bottom under Resources and click on Page click the add button and then the editor for web pages shows up. A name and description are required so we can just title it calculator and maybe for a description I will remind the students what it is and say uh, forgot your calculator use this one. And I want to click display description on course page so that when they're on the main uh, Moodle page for my class they'll see what the link is actually taking them to. Down below that you find a, the actual editor for the page that says page content. If you click in there you can type text or add graphics or whatever you want to but here we want to put actual HTML code. So go to the bottom line of this editor's button bar here and click edit HTML source. Now you're in an HTML source editor and you can paste that code in. It doesn't look like anything that's, you know, recognizable text here unless you understand HTML code. But when you click the update button down here, you'll see that that code is replaced by the actual calculator itself. Go down to the bottom, click save and return to course. And then go to the place where you inserted this page and you'll find page that you put in there. Click on that page, calculator there, and this is what happens when the students click on it. They get a calculator, and this calculator works like any other calculator except it lives on their Moodle page that they're using for your class already.